Hello YouTubers, this is Ronnie Henson here from Southwest Oklahoma. I'm getting ready to go to the lake and I thought it'd be a good opportunity to make a quick video on a problem that a lot of us are having. It's interference on our Lowrance or our depth finder generated by the trolling motor. When you step on a trolling motor, if you have a bunch of vertical uh, interference lines that show up on your depth finder, I finally found a fix uh, to get rid of that and I'm going to share that with you now I looked at YouTube and I looked at all the videos and, and I tried most of everything that was on there nothing seemed to work uh, I guess a combination of everything worked for me but the last thing that I did that caused my interference to go away was this uh, coaxial cable right up here as you can see right here on the uh, trolling motor this is a vacuum line right here. This line right here, from here all the way past the motor, I split it. I took an X-Acto knife and I cut it and I split it and then I put it around there and that created a uh, shield or a barrier for RF interference, radio frequency interference. And I think that's the problem because what I did was, is I did the ground and you can see the ground right there. I cleaned the paint off the housing I put that on there, clamped it to it, and I run that line all the way up the coaxial cable that goes to the transducer all the way up inside right there. So a combination of separating the lines on the inside. When you take the panel off and you look at your coaxial cable, the cable that goes to the transducer, most of us, if you're like me, spool that all together and put a rubber band on it or a zip tie and just shove it down in there. You can't do that. You have to unwind it, feed it down into the boat so that it's not coiled up and you have to separate that from your trolling motor positive and your negative on your trolling motor. And then I put a shield, a RF shield on the positive and the negative trolling motor plug in there and then I put that uh, on there and what happens is is that if you can see right now when this is plugged in well this right here is on the opposite side of the cable if, if you take this right here and you plug it in like that as you can see down there this right here is real close to that well, the shield right here helps prevent that, and you want to make sure that this is on the underneath side. Try to keep that as far away as you possibly can. Try to keep that as far away as you can. So, those seem to work. I went out uh, just the other day and uh, turned it on. I went through all the settings. This has got 10 settings on it. And uh, the setting that I had the worst problem was was 3. 1 and 2 was good three was terrible and anything above three was okay now from one to ten everything is good now i don't know if it was one thing or another that caused me to get rid of it but i know when i put the uh vacuum line the rubber shield over the coaxial cable around the motor that's when all my problems went away but anyhow i just wanted to share that with you guys uh and maybe that'll help you because i know it's frustrating when you're out there and you're trying to fish and you've got all that interference going on it's a pain in the butt but i think if you do all of those things one of the one of the three or four items that you do is going to work for you uh, but anyhow if you have any questions or comments uh, please leave them down below and i appreciate everybody watching this video thank you